Hey folks, this is Greg from P2Share, one of the Pem Focus Fellows here at Sick Kids. Um, today I want to talk to you about an oldie but a goodie. Um, so that's basically the ability of POCUS to improve uh, downstream care. Um, I had a case just recently that uh, to me really demonstrated a good example of this. Um, I had a little guy who was about 10 years old that was coming in with complaints of bum pain. Um, and so uh, after a physical exam, my, my sort of uh, impression of him is that he was likely a new onset IBD child. Um, but in most institutions, I'm not sure about how it would be where you are, um, but kids who are sort of undifferentiated in terms of their, uh, you know, potential for having IBD typically will get admitted to the pediatrics unit, get some workup tests, including maybe a comprehensive ultrasound, perhaps an enterography scan, um, and maybe a scope. Um, in our case, we were able to actually expedite care to, to get to the definitive service, the, the gastroenterology team, um, within the ED and get him admitted to their service based on our scans. In the first image here, uh, you're going to see a, a image of the soft tissues of the perianal area. Um, and in this, you can see on the left side of the screen uh, an abscess, which is quite clearly demonstrated as some hypoechoic areas. And on the right side, you can actually see the shadowing artifact from uh, where the anus is. In the second image I'm going to show you, though, uh, we, is where we really got to making the clear diagnosis of IBD. And in this case, you can see what is um, most clearly a, a terminal ileitis. So there's thickening of that T. I, um, lots of inflammatory changes, and when I actually showed this to the gastroenterology fellow, they were quite convinced based on the physical assessment, some of the basic laboratory markers that were um, altered, as well as our, our POCUS uh, findings, that this child quite clearly had a new onset of IBD as opposed to some other undifferentiated abdominal issues. Um, and so with that, we were able to get the child admitted to the, uh, the, to the GI service and then to have them on to definitive care, um, which felt like a real win in terms of patient care and the way they were flowing through our hospital. Um, so with that, um, you know, another week of uh, good POCUS cases and another time where we've uh, hopefully uh, reduced the amount of burden on the system and uh, our kids.